Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and your weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, which you can find online at belmontonian.com. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. So welcome, Franklin. This week, the new striping on Concord Avenue. How's that working out, Franklin? Well, it's, it's just been up for this, uh, this week. Um, they finished uh, the striping actually on Thursday night. And uh, so, um, uh, for most uh, people, it's a it's a it's a something that they're going to have to get used to because now you have a bike lane that's against the curb, followed by the parking lane. So, so for sometimes, you know, for when you first look at it, it looks like people have abandoned their cars, you know, in the middle of the road. But actually, that's where you're going to be parking now on Concord Avenue, from basically. Uh, the Unitarian Church all the way down to uh, Underwood Street. So, Franklin, I think the first time I, I saw the striping was two days ago, and I will confess I was looking for a parking space in front of the post office and was momentarily confused. Also, I did see some drivers driving in what was, you know, the, the new parking lane. So I, I think we, we will have some uh, period during which drivers will need to get uh, acclimated to the new um, striping. That's right. Uh, uh, Sergeant uh, Paul uh, Garabinian, who's the supervisor of the Belmont Police Department's Traffic Division, has stated that, uh, uh, that he's going to be starting to educate uh, drivers about the new patterns. They're going to be giving warnings and talking to people uh, just, to, just to, in the hope that people will better understand it as as the weeks go by, he's going to have officers on foot and on, on, and on bicycle just to talk to drivers, especially student drivers when this when the high school opens. Now, for drivers who have spent any time driving in other local communities, this may not be something that, that they would find so unfamiliar. Isn't that right? Uh, that's true. And I think when you look at some of the comments um, uh, when in, in articles or postings uh, online, it, it's pretty much 50-50. People are saying, you know, some people are saying it's going to be a disaster. You know, why are we doing this? Why are we trying to be like Cambridge and Somerville? But I think half the people are saying, good, you know, this is going to get, lead to safer biking. And that's what we really want, not just for residents, but for the students. You know, we've been encouraging students not to drive through the high school. But this is one positive way that you can get them to ride their bike. All right. And speaking of students, Franklin, uh, uh, how about uh, our um, vaccine requirements for this fall at, at Belmont Public Schools? Well, uh, uh, well, as you know, um, uh, the uh, the State um, uh, Department of Education um, has uh, basically given up. <laughs> They're not requiring much of, of anything in terms well, if, of COVID. And if you look at the new CDC guidance. It, it does look as though everyone's giving up. That's right. And so uh, what, what the school department did is that they, they, you know, they said, look, we're, we're going to be most, we're going to be following the state and, and, and not requiring a vaccine for uh, students who are doing extracurricular, whether it's sports or theater or, or choir or anything like that. And for disclosure, I am on the school committee, but um, I, I will say this too, that the school department still will be encouraging vaccinations and there will be a number of vaccination clinics uh, scheduled throughout the upcoming year. It is encouraging to know that the student, uh, that the level of, uh, of uh, inoculation is in the 90 percentile and they, they would like to see that increase even more. All right, Franklin. So uh, Belmont has been known as the town of homes for some time. Is there a new name in the offing for Belmont? Well, there is um, a, a committee within the uh, um, um, economic uh, development uh, um, committee uh, called the Wayfinding Advisory Working Group. And what, they're, what Belmont has received, they received a grant from the state. And the state, state is looking, uh, which gives uh, money to uh, cities and towns to basically rebrand themselves or, or, or you know, uh, make changes to, uh, to locations. You know, not, nothing, nothing, in, nothing, you know, radical. But So what's potentially in the works for Belmont's rebranding? Well, uh, uh, at the, uh, at the uh, select board's meeting, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the designer um, who's, who's, who's helping the, the Economic Development Committee, he came up with a, with a design that was uh, that um, 
uh, is a second go around. The first time he came, he presented a, a silhouette of a, of a tree and, and some Japanese uh, cherry blossoms. You know, they're aesthetically uh, good, but um, um, it's 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 it was nothing of that that said Belmont. Basically. So so Belmont town of trees or Belmont town of cherry blossoms is not in the works for our new town. That's right. And and what it is is there's a geranium that's the Belmont geranium. And it uh, was developed by um, the grandfather of Allison Link, and she was hearing the this uh, this uh, um, uh, select board meeting back in June, and she said, "Well, I've got something that, that's pretty much Belmont." She then went to the she went to the committee and said, "Hey, this is this is something that was developed in Belmont. Let's let's see if that can work." And when the de designer came before the select board this time, the select board just went like, "That's perfect." You know, so what you're going to see is you're going to see signage. You're going to see a little bit of a rebranding, and it's going to be a really pretty design of a geranium um, that's going to be in the Waverly Square, Trapello Road uh, corridor. So to give Belmont a little bit of a different feel than just the town of homes. All right. So Belmont town of geraniums. <laughs> yes. All right. So up next, Franklin, um, we had a... a a public forum on the the rink project last week um do you have any news for us on what happened there yes it um it was the it was the first uh public forum um uh, uh that uh the uh, committee the building committee for the rink uh, uh presented i mean they, they they felt a little bit of the um uh the public uh, uh the public being uh, disappointed in not having that transparency of what was going on with the building. Mm -hmm. So uh, this, this meeting was about the programming. And what we really received in this meeting was um, uh, a key word that I think is gonna be going through until the uh, vote uh, in November, and that is community. This is not a skating rink. This is not a hockey rink. This is a community asset. So, so what is what does this mean in terms of the hawk, of the the skating rink of this word community? Is this an attempt to to enlarge programming so that it services more of the community? Uh, yes, ex that's exactly it. Um, they they want to make this a twelve year uh, building. You know, not just uh, the four months that they play hockey. They want to open it up to. You mean a twelve a twelve month? Right, a building a, a, yeah. a year a year round. Building, facility right and it would be uh it would it would open up the, the locker rooms for other sports it would um it would allow people to come in and, and use uh the bathroom facilities and uh and and, and other uh aspects of the, of the building when when the hockey is not being done it it, 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 it they're really trying to make this uh a real um all-inclusive uh, building. Uh, we've we heard Brendan Fitz, who is from the recreation, who the director of the recreation department, put down some great ideas of what they could do during the summer, uh, what they could do during the year. So I think that this is something that um, will promote, well, that 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 will allow people to uh, see this rink rather than just a rink, but rather that as a community building. Okay, and Franklin, will we have additional public forums before before the vote in November? We will. We'll have one in September and one in October. And the next one in uh, September will be about energy efficiency and, um, and things like that. All right, that sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Franklin. That's all for this week, and we will talk with you next time.